Hello everybody, this is A Simulation here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping into Create a Sim with Edith Edmonds, our legacy sim here. Um, last time we had a very crazy Thanksgiving dinner, or at least a Sims version of a crazy Thanksgiving dinner. Edith ended up getting in a fight with Lucia Field, who used to be one of her best friends and is their family friend family, or is part of the family friend family. You know, there's a lot of drama going on, but since then, Edith and Rowan, the guy she stole from Lucia, have become boyfriend and girlfriend. So we're getting ready for a date night with Rowan, um, and so we're going to give her a new look. I think that we're going to get very, you know, very dressed up for a date night. I think I really like her with the curly long hair. But we're going to give her some makeup. She doesn't normally wear makeup, but she's, you know, it's date night. She's thinking about it. I just did the community survey that The Sims released a couple days ago where they basically asked, like, Simmers what they want slash what they would be most excited for, like, and stuff like that, I guess. Like, world-wise, like, um, like, gameplay-wise and, like, creative sim-wise. And I basically said, like, there was a question that was asking, like, what creative sim options should we add more of? And I was like, please, please, please give us more makeup. We literally have no makeup and it's really unfortunate. Um, and a lot of the times the makeup really doesn't look good on many of the sims. So it's very sad and I hope that they add more options for like you know a lot of the makeup seems like it's targeted towards lighter skin sims um so i'm hoping that they add makeup options that work for sims who have darker complexions and stuff like that um but yeah so it was just i'm really hoping that they add a lot of new makeup and stuff like that but i'm thinking that this is going to be our date night look i think edith looks absolutely beautiful like this so we're going to accept we have the moschino stuff pack dress on and then i'm thinking we went to the barn with wolfgang and i'm thinking of not going to the barn and maybe going to a different place so let us let's see ask on a date Rowan let's ask Rowan on a date there's no problems with a girl asking a guy out for you know on a date and you know Rowan comes from a family from Brychester so he's from the college town he probably school choice he school choiced into the um what I like to call the Brittleton Bay Windenburg Willow Creek area of I guess they all are kind of countryside so you know, like, they're one big district, and they have one high school, and so I think he school choice into the high school, but maybe he would take her on, like, a little, you know, it's Friday night, maybe he'd take her for a little city trip, and now he knows that Edith loves, loves, loves karaoke. Like, I'm pretty sure her singing skills at, like, five or something like that, so she's a pretty good singer. And so, you know, Rowan, being a charmer, would invite her to, you know, karaoke. And it is happy hour, conveniently. So let us change into our new date night outfit. And then let's sing a duet. Let's sing a ballad with Rowan. Let's just, right off the bat, sing. And hopefully he's a good singer. I actually don't really know. But we shall see. I, like, absolutely love how all the TV and, like, karaoke TV things are Sims 3. I think it's really funny, and I think it was also very clever of them to do. But, you know, they're just going to sing some karaoke. We're going to, you know, after karaoke, you know, we, we got a little crazy, and we're going to sit together and so i'll speed through this and then we have some goals for the date i'm not really gonna pay much attention to them Ooh, is brent down here cheating on brent with john or jay huntington the third interesting 
Um, interesting that a townie would be here too because she, he's from Brindleton Bay. But yeah, we're just going to talk to Rowan. Maybe we should... Let's get to know him. Um, I don't think we know any of his traits because I kind of totally cheated their friendship. So let's see. Also, like, you know, we're very upset at Lucia, but we might, like, add in, like, hey, like, what do you think about Lucia? And I'm pretty sure they're still kind of low-key. I don't think she actually broke up with him. I think they're kind of still dating. Oh, that's a lie because they are dating because I literally set that up. But, you know, he's he's playing it off like he doesn't know who Lucia is, which is interesting. So maybe he's like, and which is, oh, he's really upset. See, he's upset at himself for lying about Lucia, you know. But let's add a little romance, you know, let's blow him a kiss. Let's maybe flirt a little bit. And, you know, this is a really nice date. I think that Rowan is a a great guy, but he's also kind of a little bit of a player, too. I don't think he's very nice. And hopefully Edith doesn't, you know, hopefully that doesn't bite Edith in the butt eventually, you know? Because, like, oh, I hate when they do that. Because, you know, like, he is trying to, you know, just be, like, the big, like, player of the school or be like the biggest popular guy you know and Rowan seems like a very nice guy but he also has a little bit of an interesting aspect to him I think that maybe he's not being fully honest with um with Edith you know like they hooked up and he's like acting like you know like oh like I don't know Lucia but, like, obviously he does because their group is very close. So, like, the popular girls and the popular boys are obviously super close with each other. So, maybe, like, he's got a little something funky going on with him. And he's trying to be, like, a little bit of a player. And we're not super... We're going to see if that ends up biting Edith in the butt or not. We'll see. But they're having a cute little date. I think that... He's nice. I don't think he's, like, the one, you know? Like, I don't think he'll be our legacy dad, but I think that for now, it's just, you know, it's interesting. And Edith got a little sim... I can't... Sims... Sims... Simsipolitan? Simsipolitan. A cosmopolitan. Uh, Edith got a cosmopolitan. I can never speak, so I totally apologize. I literally, all my videos, I edit so much because I just say things that just make no sense or I just can never pronounce things. And it's not like I don't have like a lisp or anything. It's just that like sometimes I like get this like this like lisp when trying to say words, but I know I don't have a lisp because I never do when I'm like actually talking but yeah so we're just gonna let this date kind of play out we're gonna see where things go and you know edith's pretty happy she likes her cosmopolitan which is a simsopolitan oh i said it i said it see i did it <laughs> oh i said it okay um and then we're gonna you know this date's going pretty well but i think that we should probably go somewhere else i think that you know, like, she's gonna stop chatting for a bit, we're gonna finish our drink, and then we're probably going to go somewhere else and enjoy the night in the city. So, let's, ah, uh, Judith, is that Judith? It is Judith. Ugh. I absolutely hate Judith. I think she's super overrated, but let's end our date but let's travel together. So let's travel with Rowan. Oh, we have to end things with Wolfgang. So let's go with Rowan. Where are we going? Do we want to go to the Stargazer Lounge? We are in the city, so I'd say, or do we want to go to my Shuno Meadows? Let's go to the Stargazer Lounge. I think that Rowan would be kind of a bad influence on Edith because he'd be like, oh, like, you know, like, let's sit together and sit and try the bubbler together and, you know, see what it's all about. 
And then we have Bjor Burgenson over here being like, you guys can't use the bubble blower. Like, you guys, is that what this is called? I never know. I think it's called a bubble blower or something like that. Basically, it's like a hookah. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's like a tobacco product. But yeah, she's like, whatever. But, you know, we... Oh, Rowan's, you know, Rowan's going to get a drink. We're trying this with our new friends, the Burgensons. Let's just, you know, give them a cheerful introduction. They're like, oh, like, aren't you a teenager? Like, should you really be doing that? And she's like, oh, yeah, like, it's totally fine. Like, I just, you know, like, I'm not gonna get into trouble or anything. But she's, I think she's feeling a little dazed from the bubble. It is a bubble blower. She's feeling a little dazed. Now they're just chatting. It's like 11 now. I'm thinking that we go to a nightclub um so let's or i guess th- let's travel somewhere not super public so maybe let's go somewhere where like they can have a little a little privacy so let's go let's see let's go to windenburg let's go to the bluffs which is kind of what i based my island off of in Brindleton bay Oh, wow, that loaded super fast. So we're in the bluffs. I haven't played with this map in forever. So yeah, this is kind of what, like, I wanted our island to be. And I think there is... Oh, yes, a little frisky bush here. And we're going to be really good. And we're going to just, you know, flirt a little and you know, offer a massage, and then we're not gonna do anything too crazy now. Well, like I said, we weren't gonna do anything too crazy, but Edith just has a mind of her own, so you guys can't blame me. It was all Edith. She really wanted Rowan to, you know, experience the bluffs in a different type of way, or experience the bluffs from the perspective of a bush, But anyway, I'm going to probably speed through this, and then I think that Edith and Rowan would probably go home at this point, so let's actually, um, let's give him a kiss goodnight, and then we'll go home. But yeah, so Edith just, you know, she just got home, and her dad was grilling some veggie burgers, and he's like, oh, like, you're home super late i mean it is a saturday night so he doesn't know or he knows what to expect of edith but he's like oh like how was your day and she's like oh i i really liked him he was super awesome and you know clyde's like oh well just just know that like you gotta look out for yourself like boys are stupid and she's like yeah dad i know like i'm probably gonna you know go up to bed now and you know, this is awkward, and he's like, okay, like, I love you, like, just take care of yourself, and he's gonna get a late night snack, I don't know if, um, Lillian would really approve of the late night snack, and then Donovan peed himself, so Donovan's just taking a super quick bath, but yeah, so the date night, I think, went super well, and Edith is kind of surprised by how much she liked Rowan and you know she thought like hmm, maybe like I wouldn't like him because like he cheated on Lucia so easily but you know I think she's kind of persuaded or I think he kind of like persuaded her to be like to like him you know I think that Edith would be a little cautious in this new relationship but I think she didn't realize how much she would actually like Rowan so you know, he cheated on Lucia with Edith, but maybe, you know, Edith was like, maybe I should be cautious because, like, oh, he if he cheated once, he could cheat again, and, which is true, you know, you gotta be cautious, and I think Edith should be cautious, however, I think she's also, like, loving the charm that he has, he has some pretty awesome charm, and I think she really likes him already, 
So today is just kind of a super lazy Sunday for this family and I think that Edith is going to invite Rowan over to do some homework and kind of introduce him to the family. And now, as you guys remember, in the last episode, when the Fields came over for Thanksgiving, Lillian asked Lucia about Rowan and she told her, like, hey, like, we're not together anymore. He cheated on me. So I think that her family's going to kind of react negatively to having Rowan there because they're going to be like, well, what are you doing hanging out with Rowan? And Lucia is going to be like, oh, like he's just over and like he'll probably like say something or do something that would indicate that Edith was the girl who he cheated on Lucia with. So I think that it's going to be an interesting day. I'm just going to kind of have the family get their needs up and be okay for the day. And then probably in the later afternoon, we're going to invite Rowan over and hang out with him. But until then, I'm just going to kind of control the family and keep their needs up. And I will see you guys soon. All right, guys. So Edith just invited Rowan over and... We have a couple other sims here on the lot, I believe Pierce Delgado is here, and then also this girl named Patrice, who is one of the sims that I created. I believe they're all here, but I don't really see them, um, so I'm not really sure. I did invite them over, but oh, they are here. Okay, so this is Madeline's best friend, Patrice Sanderson. She's one of the Sanderson kids. So as you guys remember, um, there is Barrett Sanderson and then Dakota Sanderson, who are like the richest people in Brindleton Bay. And they're all super um, blonde, but Patrice is not. So it's kind of funny. But yeah, so we're just kind of waiting for Rowan to get here and... Hopefully he arrives soon. Um, and then I invited Pierce Delgado over, but I don't see him. So we're just going to kind of wait for the for Rowan to get here. And then we're going to have like an awkward, I think like family dinner, I believe. You know, he's on his way over and sorry, I just blinded everybody or made everyone nauseous. And they're going to kind of, they're going to meet him. So... I'm going to have Lillian give him a rude introduction and Clyde give him a rude introduction as well because they both know that he cheated on Lucia and they're very loyal to the Field family, I think. <laughs> I love that interaction and, you know, I'm going to be a little snotty to him as Lillian. I'm going to be like, what about... Lucia Field, do you know her? Like, why wouldn't you, you know? And, like, why would you cheat on him? And I think that Edith's kind of just going to be, like, really awkward. And she's going to call him over and be like, oh, like, Rowan, just, just come here, please. Like, oh, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Lucia. He's still acting like he doesn't know who she is. So, she's super excited to see him. Um... We're gonna, you know, hug him, kiss him, heartfelt compliment. We're just gonna be great. And I think that we're gonna ho do our homework and hopefully he does it too. And Clyde's just like, ugh, like I can't watch this stuff with my daughter. I can't believe she would date a cheater. Lillian's kind of like, I wonder if Edith is the one who Rowan cheated on. And I think that's gonna be interesting to explore more with Lillian she's gonna kind of be like I don't really know how I feel about him and she's gonna be nice I think she's still gonna cook a gourmet meal just to be like haha whatever but she's gonna be very suspicious I think and Clyde's just gonna kind of I don't I'm gonna have Clyde kind of talk to him let's see he's gonna tell a funny story he's gonna be like He's like, yeah, like that Fields girl, the Lucia who you, my wife asked you about, she, she got cheated, haha. <laughs> He's gonna give her pair of tips, be like, oh yeah, like I use a hammer and I know how to use a pocket knife, I use screwdrivers, kind of like threaten him in a way. And he's just gonna be like, oh, like what do you do? And look at him, he's like 
you know, he's all flirty and like fixing his hair. And he's like, oh, like, what do you do? Are you just a high school student? What do you want to do in your future? Um, let's see. Let's, we're going to like kind of be like, oh, like, I think that you should break up with Edith because I don't think that you should date her. And he's like, what are you talking about? We're in love. And Clyde's like, yeah, you think you're in love with her. And Clyde's just going to be, like, super upset and whatever. But Edith is going to be doing her homework, hopefully. And, you know, Lily made this great meal. She's going to call everyone to meal. And Kiara, ooh, Kiara Field, there's definitely some... Kiara's like, oh my god, Rowan's there, like, do you want to come to karaoke? And everyone's like, no, 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 it's fine, like, I can deal with having a cheater in my household, and, you know, it's very interesting. And now, Rowan is eating dinner with the family, and let's have Lillian sit down. We're gonna have Lillian sit down. Clyde's gonna kind of, you know... He's going to have a jeer at him. He's going to be like, whoa, like, you know, like your coat is horrible looking or something like that. I actually don't even know. I think a jeer means like to make a little jab at somebody and he's going to kind of brush him off. Lillian's going <laughs> to, Lillian's going to be like, please just break up with my daughter. I just, I really, I just don't see you guys working out and like, I just she needs to focus on school and get into college and stuff and just please like i really think you should date her and he's like what are you talking about we're in love and lillian's like ugh, like i just am really upset and she's gonna kind of brush him off a little bit and be like really like ugh, like you're really going to do that and then oh look edith's a picky eater i didn't even know that She's going to kind of come sit here and she's going to, you know, I think that the parents should go do something else for a bit. I think that they've kind of gotten their point across. So I'm going to have the parents go and leave the table and Edith's kind of, I think she's more sad that like her family is jeering at her boyfriend i think she'd be like really upset that like her mom would and dad would be like that rude to someone that she loves you know and you know she's just gonna be like you know she's gonna brighten his day be like don't worry about it like you're amazing and make a joke be like one time my parents said this to somebody else and you know like it it was way worse than what they're telling you right now, so don't worry about it. But yeah, so Edith is kind of disappointed, and she's going to compliment herself and be like, I actually really like your coat. I don't know what my father was talking about. I think that Clyde's going to kind of get really rude, and Clyde is going to ask Rowan to leave. Be like, I'm just like 8.36, like the children are going to be off to bed soon. Like, I don't think you need to be here like can you please leave and edith's gonna be like dad like why would you say that and be like just really upset with her father and let me just get these kids in order because kids are the worst to take care of in the sims but yeah she's gonna be like really upset i think she's gonna she's gonna do her homework at the table and be like really 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 sad and but he's gonna kind of be like He's going to yell at her. He's going to be like, why would you date someone like that? Like, this is, like, not who I raised you to be. Like, this is not who I raised you to be. I raised you to be better. And if you did steal him from Lucia, I'm going to be really, really, really disappointed in you. And she's like, Dad, I would never do that. And he's like, yeah, well, just know that I'm going to be super upset if you did. And Edith's like, you know what, Dad? I'm just going to go take a shower and go to bed. Like, I'm sick of talking to you. Like, in fact, I wasn't the one who he cheated on, okay? Even though she knows, like, deep down that she was the one who he cheated on. But anyway, guys, I'm going to probably leave this part here just because um, that I have a special part planned coming up. 
I thank you guys so much for watching today. I again ask you guys to please stay safe and I hope that everyone is safe and healthy at the time. Um, in the next part, I'm looking forward to spending the winter holidays with you guys. No matter what holiday you celebrate, winter holidays are probably some of my favorite. But anyway, guys, thank you so much and I will see you guys next time.